Hey guys, always alert 2010 coming at you. Just wanted to go over my uh, heavy get home bag or my light uh, bob, whichever one uh, you want to call it. The uh, reason I call it a heavy get home bag is this is the bag that I carry with me everywhere I go. I travel for a living, usually I'm over 300 miles away from home. Um, so I carry this bag everywhere I go uh, in hopes that if, uh, if something ever happens, um, I could just grab this bag and go and uh, hopefully uh, start my way back home. Uh, through urban and wilderness environments. Uh, okay, first of all, let's go over the outside of the bag. Um, you'll know, well, first of all, this is a Falcon uh, Falcon 2 by Maxpedition, uh, awesome bag. Uh, works very, very well. It is a very small bag, however, so I don't recommend this for a full-blown bug out bag, but uh, but uh, this is the bag that I had chosen uh, because of its size. I didn't want anything extremely large because I do travel by car and I bring this everywhere I go. Anyways, on the outside of the bag, you'll notice I have a small pouch on the side here. This is the FR1 by Maxpedition. Um, this is my, what I call my trauma kit. Um, this is my first aid kit for large bleeds, uh, something I need quick access to. We're not going to get into this just yet. Um, if I have time at the end of the video, I'll open this up and show you guys. Okay, I have uh, just a cheapo carabiner here. Um, it's got a little built-in screwdriver, knife, and uh, a few other miscellaneous things on there. Uh, nothing significant as far as quality. Um, you'll notice I do have a hose coming out of my uh, platypus uh, water system here. Uh, on the harness here I have LED flashlight on a carabiner. Always at the ready. I have a small whistle with built-in magnifier uh, and compass. And on the back here, kind of hard to tell, but these are two separate um, water bottle carriers on carabiners. I'm not going to take them off, but you get the idea. Um, so I can just strap on two bottles here. Um, I like this better than a canteen because you can get uh, little water bottles just about anywhere. Uh, even if you needed to refill one that you found in the trash, you can do that. Um, so that's what I have here. Then on the belt, I have just a very small belt pack that I would actually remove from here and put on my belt, on my pants. Uh, I have a small Swiss Army knife. I have uh, on a little cord. I have water purification tablets, and I have a lighter. Uh, very, very basic, but uh, just in case the bag ever gets lost, at least I have something with me. Uh, and on the front side, you'll notice I have one more carabiner, another little cheapy one um, with, once again, some attachments, knife, file, things like that. Um, this particular bag has four different compartments. It's got a small one on top, a medium one here. It's got a large in the middle, and then a very large in the back or at least what you would consider very large. Uh, going through the contents, on the top here, uh, this is pretty much my little snack pouch. Um, I keep clip bars, one, two, three, four, five, six different clip bars, one thing of almonds. Uh, then I also keep in here a um, uh, Ultimate Survival Star Flash, uh, signaling mirror. Then I have a sheath for my mag light, my mini mag light that I keep on my FR1 here um, with a little rubber band to keep it from falling off. This way I can carry the, uh, the light with me wherever I go. Then I have my uh, handy dandy little, uh, what is this, Coleman uh, head mounted LED lamp. And that does it for the little pouch up top here. Then let me push this off to the side. I'll pause this and I'll get back to you in, in just a minute. Okay, here we go. Then the second pouch here, it's kind of my utility pouch that I call it. Uh, here I have my fire kit. We can get into that later. I have a pair of uh, mechanics gloves. Uh, I've noticed that I injure myself quite a bit whenever I'm outdoors, so definitely got to have the mechanics gloves. And I have another little utility kit here. I'll get into that later. I have a compass on 550 cord. I also have, I always carry some DEET with me, keep the bugs away. I don't know what else do I have in here. I've got extremely important sunscreen, chapstick, blue Sharpie marker. also carry some tarp clamps. I think I've got four of them in here. And these are to secure my tarp. I also have a fork and knife, I'm sorry, fork and spoon a cheapo utility, or a uh, multi-tool, I should say. 
This is the Winchester brand that I got at Walmart for five bucks. It works. I always carry ten dollars worth of quarters. And I also have some more things in here. I've got hundred dollars cash and a credit card. And the hundred dollars in cash is in small bills, by the way. Uh, then I have uh, duct tape rolled on a uh, uh, hotel key. Uh, I got about thirty feet of duct tape there. And well, that is it for that bag. I'll clear this off and I'll show you what I have in my fire kit and my utility bag. Alright, going over my two utility bags that I have in the uh, medium sized pouch. Uh, this bag here, this is my utilities. Um, just little bits and pieces and tools and things of the likes. Um, in here, let's see what do I have. Okay, first of all, I've got uh, coarse, fine, and extra fine sharpening stones for my knives. Must have a couple of paper clips. You never know when, uh, when you're going to need the couple of paper clips. I have six AAA batteries, uh, which I use on my flashlight that I have mounted on my harness. And uh, I do have, uh, I believe I have another device that requires batteries, so I use these. Uh, original uh, Swiss Army knife, very handy to have. Just a small watch, digital watch that I keep in there. Uh, it doesn't have a band or anything like that. I don't uh, like to carry a watch on me, but uh, in case I ever need to tell the time. Good to have. Uh, this is a cheapo knife, uh, just a little piece of junk knife that I've got uh, for, for a buck or two. Um, this is a sacrificial blade. If I ever need to dig at something, um, this would be the, the knife to use it for. Uh, you'll see a few more paper clips here. And then here I have some, uh, uh, some safety wire. This is a steel wire um, coiled up. I probably have about oh, 10 feet of it, uh, I'm guessing here. Uh, two different coils, and what I use this for is uh, setting snares for small game if I ever needed to. Um, and that pretty much does it for this bag. All right, now on to the fire kit. Um, this is the kit that I put together. Um, yes, I understand you don't want all your eggs in one basket. At this point in time it is, but if I ever had to uh, hit the road, I would remove some of these items and keep them on me. So in case I had to dip the bag, at least I would have fire making uh, material. Okay, so getting into this uh, quickly here, we've got a, um, a blast match. This is a, this is a one hand operation striker. Big sparks. Then I have your standard uh, magnesium fire starter with the flint and the uh, saw blade. What else do I have here? Uh, matches here in a little waterproof container. And one thing that you might want to note, what I do is I take my matches, I don't know if you can see this, but I cut them, I cut the sticks off of them. Um, that way I could use, I could squeeze a whole lot more in my little container um, and I don't have to worry about uh, running out of matches. And in case I don't want to burn my fingers, what I do is I just grab my uh, utility, I'm sorry, my uh, multi-tool, use the pliers on the multi-tool, and uh, hold the match that way. Uh, comes in handy that way. I also keep the uh, paper striker in here facing outwards so the, uh, so the matches don't, uh, don't ignite themselves, themselves as I'm carrying it. Okay, those are my three main ways of making fire. You'll notice some bendy straws in here. Um, I keep these, uh, these are kind of nice if, uh, if you need to blow um, onto your tinder uh, to get it to catch, uh, sometimes I like to be a couple inches away so I don't uh, swallow too much, uh, too much smoke while I'm doing that. Okay, then we have, of course, your handy dandy big lighters. Uh, I've got two brand new ones here, and I do write the date of purchase on the lighters uh, so uh, I know how old they are. And I also have one more striker for matches. Then I have some tinder material in here. Um, steel wool, if you have a battery, which you can pretty much find in the trash anywhere, um, steel wool uh, can light up pretty easily with a battery. Even a cell phone battery will work, I've seen it done. Here we have some uh, just more uh, tinder. This is uh, just petroleum soaked um, uh, cotton balls. Uh, these work extremely well. They last for probably about three or four minutes once you have the spark on them. Uh, so very, very good tinder. And then uh, very simply, dryer lint in a Ziploc bag. Uh, just grab this out of your dryer, and once again, this is a very, very good tinder. It lasts for, I don't know, maybe, maybe 30 seconds to a minute once you get a spark on it. So this works quite well.